I say, you know, acupuncture is like riding a bicycle. So instantly people are like, oh, I ride. most people have learned to ride a bicycle one time or another. And I say, here's the deal with acupuncture. It's a catalyst. It's a medical catalyst. You'll put acupuncture needles in the body somewhere to do something. These points elicit a chemical change in your body. They create circulation. They create stimulation, an anti-inflammatory effect, anti-spasmodic effect. They deliver some anti-anxiety uh, levels in your body. They rise naturally occurring chemicals for about a bell curve of 30-some hours. So the reason it's like a bicycle is I put you on a bicycle, and I give you, I say, okay, ready, set, go, and I go, 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 go. Now, if it's your first day, you go, yay, <laughs> yay, <laughs> because you're not almost better. If you'd have been almost better, you would have healed from something. The Advil would have worked, the hot pack would have worked, the hot shower would have worked, the whatever would have worked. But the thing is, none of those things work, so you're not almost better. You're not almost better. So that means when I let go the first time, you're just going to go, yay, boom. <laughs> and so that doesn't mean to give up on riding a bicycle. It just means you try a few more times, you get good at it, and we keep giving you this steady support. We create this window of anti-inflammatory, this window of sort of comative anti-anxiety, this window of analgesia. You know, we create these windows, and then we say, okay, ready, here we go, yeah, 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 yeah. And after a while, with consistent help, you ride the bicycle your knees are actually better for extended periods of time. And that's how we use acupuncture, and people start to understand that. Oh, well, all right, that makes sense. And that's actually how it is. No matter what we're talking about, no matter what condition, acupuncture is always a catalyst. It always creates this open window, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. And then if your body can take over, off you go, you're riding the bicycle, until you run into something that you're unfamiliar with. And as you learn to ride bicycle, the first two things that come up with is gravel. When I discovered gravel, that was a sad day because I was just all of a sudden went boom. And that hurt. The other thing that hurt was wet grass. I didn't understand bicycles and wet grass. I was like, yeah, wet grass, boom. That hurt. So what people are going to do is they're going to go, whoa, I got my new knees. This is really good skiing. And you'll be like, oh, touch football. Let's play tag with the grandkids. You'll discover your own gravel or wet grass, whatever it is. You'll find out what it is. And at that point, then you come back and say, oh, you know, I wonder if, ac yeah, acupuncture helped you and you needed to know your part was to watch out for the gravel, watch out for the wet grass. But if you choose to learn to ride on gravel or wet grass, uh, you may need a helper, you might need to get some start, but you can eventually learn to master wet grass and gravel if your body's able to. And if it's not, you avoid gravel or wet grass whenever you can. That's the deal. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard.